Well, here we go. Got a nice rainstorm over there, hoping it, hoping it widens out, shuts us down. We got Alex is out gathering up hay grazer bales. This is a circle we cut about two weeks ago. So got good regrowth on it, really good regrowth, but we're uh, getting ready to go back into triticale. That, that's kind of our what we like to do and works out really well for us. We can, if we can hay, run a little double hay crop, then we'll do it. And uh, this, this circle did fantastic, really. Uh, even with having to replant the, the hay, the hay crop, boy, it. We got 352 uh, large five by six uh, uh, bales off of them. I don't know what they're weighing. We're just stacking them up, getting them off. Uh, they're probably probably 68, 70 inch bales. So just just right in there, getting, getting pretty close to full size. I don't like to go to the full 72 inches. Um, but that's just preference and so we're uh, just trying to get the ground started to turn up uh, get a good seed bed going we've been really really dry we finally got four tents the other day that's the first rain I've had since 1st of July so that was very very nice to have um, that circle over there is already planted and emerged. So we kind of staggered it out best we could. This circle, I just, I just this one yesterday. And while well, Alex was hauling this, this out. So uh, now we'll uh, spread dry fertilizer out here and we'll disc them again uh, and make one more pass. But as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. There's some spots where it's not really doing that good of a job, but okay it's it's doing all right just got myself turned around here but uh yeah so as you can see uh down here in this corner right there and over there um our scrapers are a little worn out and so uh we were balling up pretty bad and uh it wasn't doing a very good job so we just took a Paired chains and went around there and around there and bolted them on and it keeps that dirt from building up. You got to run them loose enough that they don't they don't cut into your spools. But uh, yeah, so we did that and made a big difference. But this this stuff's a little sticky, so it packs in there really well. But and our crumbler, you can see it's it's. It's doing an all right job. We had to rebuild the, the hitch on it. That's why it's uh, got those sections in there that aren't painted. Uh, they were just flat worn out. So, anyways, but yeah, we're just kind of hoping we get a rain. Like, so that's a, that's a good idea of what a, a rain looks like here, you know, unless we get a, a big general rain. Those are our spotty rains. And, you know, that's. Those uh, those little rains there, they can really make you or break you. They really can. They they're not very big, but they they pack a good punch. And if you can get under them, boy, they'll they can really set you up for the year. But that, that is a hard thing to do. It seems like they always always go around you. So we had uh, had a big big rain built up down here. It went well well to the south of us, and we got this one. And uh, so that's. That view right there is kind of how I spend most of my life. Just, just this nice little open spot right here, and that just comes right across the place, and we don't get any rain, and you get to watch it rain everywhere else. And and then uh, the minute it gets past us, it goes about 10 miles this way and gets on the Texas state border, and it all consolidates into one giant rain, and they just get all the rain they can they can stand, or at least that's the way it looks. That's not really how it is, but you know, that's us being jealous for not getting getting everything but yeah it's that's just kind of how life is out here but so we well we're pretty pretty thankful for uh the hay grazer crop that we did have this year um definitely think we'll be doing hay grazer again next year uh it just seems like for whatever reason we can kind of get a faster we we get more of a crop than we used to uh, i don't know if it's because we've gotten hotter 
and uh, we it just or maybe we're just farming a little bit better but it seems like we can produce a lot of tons uh, in a shorter amount of time than we used to be able to so uh, I think we'll uh, we might plant this circle that 120 acres over there to hay grazer uh, next spring and, and try to get a big crop off of it really kind of set us up for the year but we'll see we'll see you know it's a long time between now and next year it's getting shorter every day but it, it is a while so I get turned around again I got myself on my guidance line drop my old disc in the ground so yeah tomorrow uh, tomorrow is the big the big auction the big iron auction where we got our some of our equipment on there so you know naturally I'm nervous as a cat on the tin roof uh, but you like to think that your equipment is you know there's some stuff in there I know that's you know it is what it is um, but then you got some stuff you're like you know I'd like to you know you hope it does good but it's an auction so an unreserved auction at that so you know it's always something to be a little nervous about but we'll uh we'll see you know uh time will tell hopefully it all goes well that's, that's all we can hope for um it's really cooled off here Let's see if i can hold you uh and so yeah we're really kind of cooled off and and starting to feel like fall which is not a good thing because uh, we have missed a lot of rain and it's been really dry in this part of the world and we don't have a lot of grass so it kind of uh, it's a tough situation we've got about if we can get some good rain this week actually get some decent rain we can grow some grass but we got to get good rain before the say the 10th of September because we'll be, we'll have a frost in 30 days, so we've gotta grow, we've gotta grow something. Uh, I'm actually taking this weekend off and running up north of Manhattan, Kansas. Uh, we're gonna stop and see some friends there, there at K-State. I bought a Hennecler stock shredder. We bought a circle of corn stalks. We're gonna bale up for the cows, and, and uh, you know we're just planning on not having a lot of groceries, so doing some stuff like that and try to get ourselves a little further along to next year and yeah that's always something but we're gonna go do that it looked like it was in pretty good shape but you know it's an auction purchase online I've never bought anything like that before so we'll uh we'll see how big of a mistake that was or wasn't in about two weeks we'll start gathering calves in and, and giving them our uh, second round of vaccine before we wean in about 30 days so start getting that done well life's gonna get pretty busy pretty quick here um, very busy so we'll, we'll kind of see how everything goes um, that's all we can do we're just trying to get be as ahead of everything as we can especially under the situations that are going on this this being dry and, and getting towards the end of the year is a pretty tough situation for a lot of people it's, it's a tough deal but you know we're gonna have to make the best of it that's all we can do so we, that's one thing i've learned after the big drought that we went through is always always plan for the worst you know if it turns out good great it turned around so that's Kind of what's going on. We got some feedlot projects to do, and uh, just start replacing all the old pins with uh, pipe and steel. We got all the posts cut up, and concrete on hand, and I uh, just uh, got a lot of projects coming up. So we just got to get the farm and knocked out, out of the way. Uh, get that done, and then we can focus for the rest of the year on all the ranch stuff. So big thing is uh, get our wheat in we're probably hoping to get some custom wheat to plant but we'll see uh, we'll see what happens so we're gonna do what we can to get our stuff out of the way so anyways we're kind of really hoping this rain builds up it, it looks like it's starting to widen out a little bit you know we're starting to get a little 
little more stuff built in here. It might be petering out some. But I've, I've seen that seen that horizon a lot do that and it's just you, uh, you look like you're gonna get hammered and then just poof. And it's uh, I guess stressful. The older I get and the more dead I get into the more stressful it is but that's that's all you can do. You know the more cows that you that you gotta worry about feeding and the more you know uh because I, I don't I don't have a day job besides doing the whole cow thing and so it I put everything I got into surviving off cows and that's uh it's an interesting proposition you know it's if you can do it it's great but, and, uh, <laughs> we, we try to do a little bit of the farming and stuff like that to supplement it sometimes it works and sometimes it just digs a bigger hole but you know that's just how life is I guess so anyways I uh, just kind of wanted to give you a little update and Hopefully catch you on the next one.